Hi everyone. This lesson is about active and passive voice. Sometimes when we are describing a process that happened in the past or present, we focus on the action being accomplished rather than who did the action. Take a look at these two sentences, for example. Hamza sent the email yesterday. The email was sent by Hamza yesterday. The first sentence is active. Hamza is the subject and he did the action. The second sentence is passive. Hamza still did the action, but he is at the end of the sentence. The passive form is created by combining the verb to be and the past participle. So the past simple active verb form sent becomes was sent to make the passive form. So if our two sentences about Hamza and his email say the same thing, why does it matter which one we use? Well, active or passive voice changes how we think about the information. Let's say the main focus of the sentence is to show that the email was sent. It does not matter who. So in this case, we are showing that the action happened or is happening. And who did it isn't what's important. Let's look at these sentences as an example of what I just said. The bathrooms are being cleaned. Or, the security system is being installed. In these examples, the main focus is that the bathrooms were cleaned and the security system was being installed. Again, the action is what is important and not the subject or who did it. Putting it another way, we can also use the passive form to talk about something that happened or is happening, and the subject is unknown or to avoid saying who did something. Look at these examples to help you understand better. The bank was robbed. The chair was broken. These sentences are both passive. We have the verb was, the past tense form of to be, and the past participle robbed and broken. Who robbed the bank? We don't know or are not sure, which is a reason to use the passive. Who broke the chair? The same situation. So, we use the passive when we have a very general subject or we don't know who did the action. Think about the sentence. School photos were taken yesterday. Okay, so why did we use the passive? Well, maybe we don't know who took the photos or it's not important who did it. In order to give the same information in an active sentence, we say, they took the school ID photos yesterday, or someone took the school ID photos yesterday. Doesn't sound pretty good, does it? They are both correct to say. However, we use the passive since it talks about the action that happened. And finally, we use passive sentences when we focus on a process or we are describing results. For example, many homes were damaged by the flood. In this sentence, we know the flood did the action. We care more about the homes. We want to put that information first in the sentence. Here's another example. The water is boiled before it is put in the glass. Here, we are focusing on the process. We can say, you boil the water and then you put it in the glass. But the passive focuses more on the process. So in short, passive sentences change how we think about the information in the sentence. And we use the passive in three main situations. Number one, when we don't want to blame someone or say who did something. Number two, when we don't know or it doesn't matter who did something. Number three, when we want to focus on the result or the process. Let's see if you understand this correctly. Can you complete the exercise?